Good day. Uh, purpose of today's video is I'm going to take this frame of honey and I want to add, uh, just set it down beside the hive and let them knock themselves out with it. I'll just leave it there, they'll figure out where it is. Another thing I want to do today is uh, I put that entrance feeder on. There is hive two, there's a lot more activity. And there's hive three. And there's a lot more activity. Let me just blow this up for a sec. You can actually see at that feeder there, the number of bees that are around it. I watched a lot of videos, I've seen a lot of feeders, but I have yet to see what it's like underneath that feeder. So today, I'm gonna lift that feeder up and I'm gonna show you the amount of bees that's underneath there. It's unreal. There, there's one bee on that frame already. I'm sure before long. Apparently bees have an incredible sense of smell. I expect uh, see bees all over that. They'll take that honey and they'll uh, bring it back into the colony. I think you can see there, you can see that bee down in the left corner. Let's just sit here a minute and Yeah, there's a lot of bees flying, but they're not bugging me, so they don't view me as a threat. And then once they pull out all the, all the honey out of that frame, then I'll, uh, I got an empty frame that's uh, already drawn up. Uh, hive number two, and then uh, she can just start laying in it once all the honey's gone. Always that one bee. I'm back up. That one bee is just kind of an idiot. I don't have my suit on. So again, back to the goal. The goal, I'll just stick that off. Now, can you see the amount of bees that are in that feeder? It's just loaded. Can you see the bees? So, 
just an idea of what it's like under that feeder. I hope you got a good shot of that because it is loaded with bees under that. <coughs> In three days ago, Nah, that bottle was full. So in three days, they, they've, uh, it's about half full, so. Now I think I'm gonna have to add that uh, frame there, maybe a little closer to the hive. And I checked and all three queens are released, which is good. Let's have a look in here. Paul and Patty, you can see the amount of bees. They're all over that Paul and Patty. I'll just blow this up here. I can see they're growing. So we'll just cover this up. So basically I think we have successful splits here because there's a fair amount of bees in that hive, hive two, and there's a fair amount of bees in hive three. actually thought they would go after that frame a lot more than uh, what they are doing. And as you can see that, that feeder does work. I, I'm sure you've seen the amount of bees that are underneath it pulling the hector. The nectar, sugar water. That's one-to-one uh, -one sugar water in there. And there's always that one bee that's got an issue. You right there. No, we'll just kind of slowly back away. Back right away. They'll follow me. Like, what is your problem, B? Anyways, thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've seen a lot of uh, pictures and videos of uh, feeders, high feeders, but I've never actually seen one lift up the bottle and show what's inside. So take care out there. Be nice to your bees. Be sure to feed them and enjoy them. I am extremely happy that uh, the splits went good, the hives are growing, and it's a good deal. One hive now is three. <coughs> and the reason for so many videos is that I don't have to document and write and all this crap. I actually have my documentation on video. All I gotta go do is go back through my videos and know what queen was where, released when, 
So everybody has their own way of doing things and this is mine. So take care, be nice to bees. I'm an old hockey referee, keep your stick on the ice. And keep on keeping on. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe. Take care, have a great summer.